right, guys. So this video, I want to show you how to make this, which was supposed to be a shawl, but it turned out to be too wide. Um, I'm kind of experimenting with this pattern, so I'm going to make a few things and until I find a perfect method to make actually a good shawl. But it turned out to be like a, a good scarf. And I like it as a scarf. We can put this in front and then a little side wrapped around your neck and just put it to the front. It will look better when you put it on or when you see it on the mannequin. But let's just show you this version for now. So let's see how many we have here. Um, I use, let's see how many colors. One, two, three. I use three colors here. But for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to use black just so. Um, it will not be visible because it's a ba black background and even if it's not a black background it's usually not visible when you work with black yarn so let's see one two three four five six seven okay so let's start with seven so I'll start with uh, the orange yarn since it's brighter so I'll start by making a slip knot don't mind this color here I was uh, painting with my son, which was actually sharp, it's not more, not painting, but using sharpies. <laughs> uh, so let's see, let's change seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now that I've changed seven, on the fourth chain from the hook, I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Four triple crochet, I mean, four double crochet plus this three chain here, it gives it five double crochet. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row one. Now for row two, I will use yarn in different color. I'll start by making a slip knot. And then you see here we have these three chains so right here to this first chain I insert my hook then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through and now again I will chain seven so now that I've chained seven on the fourth chain from the hook I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet and now again we have one two three four five double crochet now right here through this third chain so we worked on the first chain we attach this yarn and we skip one chain and through this second chain which is the third chain I will make a slip stitch now I will chain three now that I've chained three, through these next three chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, and three. It looks like it's difficult, but it really, it's not. You know, once you get a hang of it, it's quite relaxing. So now I'll chain three. Then right here through this next double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now we have to repeat the same thing on this left side. So. I'm going to chain uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then again, I'll skip the next three chains and through this fourth chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. And now, right here through this double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row two. And now for row three, we just repeat it row two again. But you just you just go this way. We add, increase on both sides, right and left and then we work on these existing five double crochets. So again, I'll use yarn in different color. Then right here at the beginning of a row, each row will start right here at the beginning 
See? It should be like a first row. So right here through this first chain, I insert my hook. Then I insert middle through a slip knot loop and pull through. Again now I'll chain seven. Then I'll skip the next three chains and through this fourth chain I'll make one double crochet. Again through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. So now again through this third chain, see we have here three double crochet so we join this row right here the first chain, we skip one chain and through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Again I'll chain three, then one, two, three, four. Through these next four chains I'll make one double crochet through each chain. And now we need to join these two sides. So right here through this third chain, which is our first double crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. Again, I'll chain three. Then one, two, three, through these next three double crochets, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Again, we need to work in this last double crochet, so I'll chain three. We're coming on the ladder. And then right here to this next chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And now again, we need to come down the ladder. So one, two, three, four. Through these next four chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three and four and now again I'll chain three then through this next chain I'll make a slip stitch again I'll chain seven now through the fourth chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet and through the next chain one double crochet. Now through this next chain we we'll skip one chain through the second chain which is our first double crochet still I'll make a slip stitch. I'm sorry about the noise <laughs> my son is making noise I was hoping to make this uh, video in silence but he, he won't cooperate. Okay so this completes row three. So basically, we'll just repeat row 3 for the pattern. It's just one row repeat. See, it's just really like a letter. I like this pattern. It seemed to be way wider than longer. Because you see, you are increasing on both sides. So that's what makes it wider than I would want it to be. I was hoping it would be a shawl, but it did not work out that way. Uh, it actually came out very, very wide, then I was, uh, let's see, let's double this and then measure it. So it's 74 inches wide, guys. And let me see how long it is. I am going to measure it here. So it's like 14 and a half inches long. So imagine that. 14 and a half inches long and 74 inches wide. That is a lot. But I cannot show it to you right here how it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the floor in a different room and show it to you how wide it looks. But it's still fine, guys, because you can still wear it as a scarf. It did not turn out. As good as I want it to be for a shawl because it's just too wide. But uh, I'm working on something else. I'm going to try this pattern again. You know, try to change it around a bit and then see how it will turn out. 
but uh, you can see this version and as it is I'm gonna use this as a scarf so this is how wide it is it's really really wide I was planning to make some tassels at least uh, here on this side center and on the left side but then I changed my mind but I really like how it looks here see but yeah I'm just gonna use it as a scarf but it's quite large so this is all for today guys and I'll see you next time with another project